So I get my magnet, attach it to some rope, I just chuck it in, and then as I pull it in, hopefully I can get some cool on the end of it. Gareth is not your typical fisherman. Instead of hooks, he uses magnets, and instead of fish, he looks for metal, hidden deep beneath the surface of the water. That's off a, like a chimney, off a narrow boat. But much to his surprise, Gareth made an unexpected discovery here at Enfield Lock just two weeks ago. I was there about 20 minutes and then pulled out some machine gun. At first, obviously, I'm just used to pulling out rubbish most of the time. Um, and I pulled out and I was like, nah, it can't be. Then as I got it on the side, that's when I realised what it was. But this wasn't the end of the discovery. And then I pulled out a knife and the magazine to the gun as well. Um, it's quite surreal, to be honest. Like, it, it didn't sink in until I drove back home. And, like, yeah, it's unreal. A Mac-10 is a submachine gun designed in the 1960s and used mainly by the military. But it's thought that this gun might have been used to commit a crime. These sorts of weapons were around in the 90s. But the fact we're now seeing them again starting to make an appearance in the hands of people who are teenage, 20-year-old drug dealers on the street, not organised crime at all, uh, is worrying. In 2005, 21-year-old Richard Holmes was shot dead by Anthony Green and Carl Dobson, who fired at him with a Mac-10 submachine gun. They were given a 30-year minimum term. Gareth gave his Mac-10 to the police, who say forensically they're unable to analyse it due to heavy corrosion. But it wasn't the first time he'd discovered firearms in the UK's waterways. In the past I found um, two other pistols, one was an antique and one was totally disassembled, like a handgun. And then more recently I found like a knuckle duster, um, like a telescopic baton. Although shocking, Gareth hasn't been put off. He's still focused on getting another big catch. Charlotte Franks, BBC London News.